Welcome back to Midpoint. And everybody, the news that we are following right now from New York City, a Staten Island grand jury has cleared an NYPD cop in the chokehold death of Eric Garner during the arrest, the caught on video arrest for peddling loose cigarettes. We have been waiting for this decision. Let's go ahead and welcome into Midpoint via telephone. Our legal eagle, Heather Hansen, is joining us right now. Heather, I know we spoke about this earlier in the week right now, your initial reaction. Well, you know, as we spoke about it earlier in the week, Ed, I thought that there would be an indictment in this case. What I have to say is, unlike the Will Officer Wilson case, we knew very little about the evidence that was being presented in this case. There's not been an attorney or um, Reverend Sharp coming forward with the various pieces of evidence. So all that we really knew was the video that we had seen and a little bit of background about Eric Gardner selling um, those untaxed cigarettes. You have to imagine that the reason that there was no indictment was because there was a lot of evidence that we did not know that established that this was appropriate use of force in the circumstances. Is it not fair to say, though, that as we're watching the videotape right now that was taken by a bystander, it's gone viral, we've all seen it many, many times, that the chokehold used by the officer, or the alleged chokehold, I need to say, that is going to be the thing that I believe everybody will focus on because it certainly seems to, at least in our in our eyes, non-law enforcement eyes, fit the criteria of an illegal chokehold. No doubt about it. I mean, a chokehold is forbidden under the police of New York the police department protocol. They, the defense, from what little we have heard about what came out of this grand jury, the defense was presenting or, or stating that it was a typical takedown and it was not a chokehold. What this really serves to show is the importance of cameras. If there were no camera in this case, I don't think there would be any attention to it whatsoever. Now, there were body cameras here, and there's going to be body cameras in the future in New York. But sometimes they are not enough. You know, it is clear most people who look at that video that you're seeing see it as a chokehold. You know, you see someone gasping for air and saying, I can't breathe, and it certainly seems to be something that should not be acceptable. Would but you've got to remember, I'm sorry, I to interrupt you, but you just got to remember they heard from a number of police officers here who testified about what actually chokeholds look like versus take them. Would you not agree, though, that certainly when it comes between Ferguson and here, they come right on the heels of one another, that with Ferguson there was no video of the actual attack that anybody has seen. It has all come down to testimony. We're seeing video here, a very racially charged country at the moment right now that is looking at items such as these, that this is going to truly, this could add more fuel to the fire about police brutality, breaking laws, and white-on-black cops. This certainly is something right here that I think that, that speaks more to what people have been complaining about yeah, than, even the Wilson, than even the Wilson-Ferguson issue. Absolutely. I think it's a, it's a far better case, if you will, for people to get behind to see that there is an issue here. We have an issue in this country that needs to be addressed. And this, seeing this video certainly gives people reason to do it. It's interesting, Ed, because under New York's grand jury laws, one of the things the grand jury could do if they so chose is to submit a report proposing recommendations for administrative actions that are in the public interest based upon what they saw. So I would be interested to know whether that's something that we see from this grand jury. You know, we know that the New York Police Department under um, Britain has, has looked at these things and is working towards improving them. But I would love to see if a grand jury comes back with a similar recommendation. We are going to have to wait and see because, of course, there's going to be further legal action on this as well. Heather, I know it's on short notice. I want to thank you very much for joining us, and we'll talk to you again very soon. It's my pleasure. Have a good day. Oh, you as well. Uh, so once again, the news that is coming out of New York, the Staten Island Grand Jury has cleared the NYPD officer in the chokehold death of Eric Garner. We should also point out that Garner's family has filed notice already that it plans to sue the city for $75 million on grounds including wrongful death, pre-death pain, and suffering in civil rights violations. And of course, the feds are going to be asked to investigate this death. We will hear much more about this tomorrow as we follow the story and find out what happens in Staten Island, in New York City, and around the country as well. Rock on, True Believers. We thank you so much for joining us. We will do it all tomorrow, Friday Eve, as we head towards the weekend. This story and so much more right here on Midpoint, where every day, regardless of the issue, we question everything.